So when we talk about the pH of water, it's nothing but the potential hydrogen ion activity. So a lot of people have this confusion is like whenever we are giving nutrient solution, when we are adding nutrient solution into the water, how plants are taking it? Either plants are taking it into the same granular or a salt format. Like if plants want nutrients, does it goes into the water and search for the new, no, nitrogen element and it start absorbing the nitrogen? No, it doesn't work that way. So whenever we are adding any fertilizer into the water, they form different kind of ions. So on, based on that, the pH of the different different ions is formed. The same way, hydrogen has its own ion activity. Either it's a negative or it's a positive, they have their own ion activities into the water. So counting the uh, potential hydrogen ion activity gives us idea about what is the pH of the water. So generally when we talk about the pH scale, the pH scale starts from 0 and it goes up to range 14. So let's talk about zero scale. When we see, when we talk about the battery liquid, or when we talk about like highest acidic waters like lemon or something, that's a zero H scale or zero or one scale. So uh, opposite of that, when we talk about the alkaline water, when you know bleach is there or a you know, drain cleaner is there or a soap is there, that's a alkaline water. There is a lot of alkanity into the water. So that is on the scale of 13 and 14. So when we grow plants into the water, what we have to do is we have to make sure that this ion activity is at the proper range where all these nutrient solutions are available for plants root to uptake whenever they want. So we have to maintain water which is little bit acidic, little bit you know acidic side from the neutral scale. So we maintain acidic pH like 5.5 to 6.5 is a maintainable pH range which we need to make sure that all nutrient solution and all fertilizers and elements are available into the water are easily consumable by the plant's root. So maintaining 5.5 to 6.5 EC is a uh, pH is a very much crucial for the plant growth. So next, uh, next come the pH meter. We talk about the pH meter. So pH meter is actually used to understand like what is the current pH of the water and what stages or what 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 things we have to do to keep it under the control. So generally, when we stay in India, in India we get whatever water we are getting that's little bit on the alkaline side. So there is a lot of a salt deposit or a what we call a lot of minerals and chemicals are already present into the water. So whatever water we are getting, that's little bit more alkaline side. The general water, drinking water, any water we have, that's almost on 6.5 to 7.5, sometimes 8 pH is available. Generally, we have to reduce that pH. Generally, we have to get it back in the range of 5.5 to 6.5. So we make use of acid. So generally, acid is used to bring down the pH of a water. So uh, in our farm, we use uh, phosphoric acid for this purpose. We can use nitric acid, we can use sulfuric acid, we can use phosphoric acid. These are the three acids which can be used to bring down the pH of a water. So generally what we have uh, understood is nitric acid and sulfuric acid is little bit more costlier when compared to the phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid is much more cheaper, that is one part. Second uh, part is a phosphoric acid, managing a phosphoric acid is much more easier. In nitric acid, the shoot up is a very high. For example, if I am if I'm diluting the sulfuric acid into the water, I have to make sure that the proper pH is achieved, I have to make sure the proper circulation is happened. Sulfuric uh, and uh, same issues with the sulfuric acid. When you talk about the phosphoric acid, that issue is not there. Managing phosphoric acid is much more easier. Phosphoric acid is much more cheaper and agriculture, no food grade phosphoric acid is easily available at any part of India. So I suggest to go ahead with the phosphoric acid. We are using the phosphoric acid. You can start with the phosphoric acid. There is a different kind of a pH, uh, no pH, go, pH grow, pH up and pH down are available. Uh, generally, they are very much costlier and technically you don't need them. You can directly go ahead with the phosphoric acid and it delivers the same results which you want.